All right, thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you or going to discuss or teach you or whatever is this thing. What is this? So some of you might have seen this before in your Flutter code or in your Dart programming. And maybe some of you might know this is called anonymous function. So what is an anonymous function? So from Google, right? If you were to Google anonymous function, it is a function that is not stored in a program file, but is associated with a variable whose data type is function handle. Anonymous functions can accept multiple inputs and return one output, and they can contain only a single executable statement. So you guys might have used anonymous functions without realizing it. So for example, when you create a button and then it requires you to have an on-pressed parameter or function, you will use this exact syntax that we were shown earlier in this video. And this syntax is actually an anonymous function. And for some who have been in the programming world for many, many hundreds of years, it also has another name, which is called Lambda. So Lambda comes from a Lambda calculus. So Lambda also, usually you hear it from Python programming. So that's why the example over here, it is a Lambda function that you can see over here. So a difference between anonymous function and a normal function for Python, right? So this is out of, out of the way of Dart programming language is that you have the word Lambda over here. So let's go back to Dart. So how does anonymous function actually looks like? So in this example, you have a list of strings, which are the names of the fruits. And the anonymous functions is just over here. So there is usually a argument and then you will use this item inside your function over here or your expression. So the list dot for each will return you an item and then you can make use of this item object in whatever you want. And this is an anonymous function right here. In many cases, most of the time you will use anonymous function inside a method of an object. So a list have a for each method and then you can use the anonymous functions so you can also use a shorthand, which is represented as a, you could say, rocket sign. And you can make this into one line to make it much more readable. So let's copy this, scroll all the way up, and then let's paste it over here. And let's see how it looks like and run it. So in the end, you could see that it prints out our apples, bananas, and oranges. So another funny thing is that you are able to make an anonymous function assigned to a variable. So what I can do is I can type in final and then print items. And with this, I can assign it to the anonymous function that we have over here. So let's copy and paste it over here with a semicolon of course. And then you can just remove all of this with the print items anonymous function. So list dot for each print items. So for each, you just print the items accordingly. So anonymous functions in Dart can be assigned to a variable. And this looks pretty nice. And you could say that it makes your whole code much readable. So if you were to run this, you could see that our console will also print out the same thing, apples, bananas, and oranges. How can I use it in my Flutter day-to-day -day code? So an example is that I have with me here a get articles function. And inside the get articles function, I'm using the RSS feed for my portfolio Flutter web project, which is coming out soon in Udemy, links in the description. So can you see the anonymous function that I have used in this example? So. If you were to look at Flutter articles over here, what I need to do is I need to get the articles that has the category Flutter. So it requires a lot of parsing. 
that means you have to go through a lot of methods in order for you to get what you want. So the first thing is that inside the anonymous function have flutter tag, it looks like an ordinary final variable, but it's actually an anonymous function. So the first thing is that you could see that you already have the argument, but you don't have the name for the function. That's why it is called anonymous function. I rather it call anonymous function rather than lambda. Lambda is a very mathematical kind of word. So anonymous functions make sense because your function doesn't have a name. Then what you can do is this is the RSS item article. This is just an object that you can pass in. And then this is the function that you can create inside it or the expression I would say. Then with that you can have added more anonymous function so you can chain it kind of. So you have any method and then you can use another anonymous function to check whether any of the category value is flutter. So using that you can set it to a final variable have flutter tag. And then you can use this have flutter tag anonymous function. So this is a little bit weird for me because once you assign a variable to an anonymous function, is it anonymous? I have no idea. But from what I've seen so far, this is still considered an anonymous. So you can actually do the same thing for have flutter tag as a function. So how do you do that? Pretty simple. You can definitely create a function called fun. Just kidding. You can put in have flutter tag and then after that you can just copy this whole thing and then you can paste it over here. So if you were to hover over it, the value type boolean can't be written because this is a void return function. So we want to return a boolean instead. So now you can see that the have flutter tag function has been created for us. If I were to recommend this, now it still works, okay? And now you can see the difference of the named function. You could see that the return type starts first and then the name of the function and then what it requires. So honestly, I feel that the difference in Dart for an anonymous function and a normal function is that first anonymous function is like a throwaway function. So anonymous function is usually used for like very simple stuff that you are going to put without naming it. But if you were to name it, then you probably can by just creating a function. And for me, honestly, the difference is that it looks nicer, honestly, if you were to put an anonymous function. And two, if you were to put a function in a function, I mean, that's not really good right now because you want the function to be used elsewhere. The anonymous function should only be used locally. So within the scope of a function or a widget, but if you want to create a function, function like for example, get articles, then you can technically use it elsewhere. You probably can private using this underscore. But that's about it. That's my opinion on anonymous function. And hopefully you learned something over here. So you can create anonymous function anywhere else with a very simple syntax. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of these interesting facts, leave it in the comment section down below. And subscribe for more interesting takes on Flutter. That's about it. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and all the best. Bye-bye.